The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College. Coming up on the drumbeat, find out how fine arts programs are handling performances during COVID-19. Early voting is now open in Texas. Find out where you can vote early here in Smith County. The drumbeat starts right now. Broadcasting live from Studio 1108 in Jenkins Hall on the campus of Tyler Junior College, this is The Drumbeat, bringing you the latest from students like you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Andrea Valdez, joining you from an empty studio to maintain social distancing. Welcome to The Drumbeat. TJC has partnered with UT Health to provide a free on-campus clinic for TJC students. The clinic offers services such as diagnosis and treatment of illness or injury and flu shots and other vaccines. Services at the clinic are free for students. Appointments can be scheduled ahead of time or walk-ins are acceptable. The clinic is located on the second floor of the Rogers Nursing Building. Clinic hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. during the week with the last patient being taken at 4 p.m. To schedule an appointment, contact the campus clinic at 903-510-3862. Flu shots are now available for students through appointment at the campus clinic. Upon arrival, make sure to sign in at the front and have your TJC student ID with the Fall 2020 sticker. The Center for Student Life and Involvement has created a new alternative to celebrate TJC Pride in place of homecoming this year. Virtual Spirit Week is a week-long event that will include online events such as appearances from guest alumni, TJC Trivia, and much more. Virtual Spirit Week will also be online with some hands-on events on campus. But yeah, expect all of the events to be happening virtually. I'm just still trying to reduce those crowd sizes and, and maintain physical distancing. Director of Student Life Lauren Tyler says, we're not having our traditional homecoming this fall, but we certainly don't want to miss this opportunity to celebrate our Apache spirit. Virtual Spirit Week will run from October 26th through the 30th. TJC Theater will be performing God of Carnage. The play centers around two sets of parents who, whose children get into an altercation at the park as they discuss how to deal with the children. The show will run October 21st through the 23rd at 7.30 and October 24th with performances at 2.30 and 7.30 in Gene Brown Theater. Due to COVID-19, only students and faculty will be allowed to attend and face masks are required. Early voting is now open in Texas beginning on October 13th through October 30th. Early voting hours in Smith County will be from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturdays, and from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Sundays. Make sure to bring one out of the valid seven valid forms of ID. Anyone registered to vote in person is eligible for early voting. For more information on early voting or general election information, visit votetexas.gov. Coming up after the break, find out where you can get tested for COVID-19 if you are experiencing symptoms. Fine arts programs are taking a whole new approach when it comes to performances and connecting with audiences. All this and more when we come back. Hey Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Student Life hosted a virtual bingo event this past Tuesday through Zoom. The next virtual bingo will be October 26 at 7. The link for the next virtual bingo will be found on OrgSync and make sure to stop by Student Life to grab your bingo card. Prizes for the event will include AirPods Pro, gift card pack, and much more. From October 1st to October 10th, there have been 12 positive COVID-19 cases recorded at TJC according to the Clery reports released. TJC continues to follow CDC guidelines of wearing masks and social distancing, and certain areas on campus are limiting the number of people at a table. 
If you are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 or tested positive for the virus, make sure to fill out the COVID-19 report found on the TJC COVID-19 information site. For more information regarding TJC's COVID plan, visit tjc.edu slash coronavirus. If you are showing symptoms of COVID-19 or have come into contact with someone who tested positive for the virus, the UT Health Clinic on 5th and Beckham is offering COVID-19 testing for TJC students. Upon arrival, stay in your vehicle and make sure to present a driver's license, social security card, or passport. COVID testing will be through appointment only. To schedule an appointment, contact the UT Health Clinic at 903-594-2666. The general TJC scholarship application for the 2021-2022 year is now open. TJC students will need to fill out an application to be considered for scholarships they are eligible for. Some scholarships may require essays and answers to additional questions to follow. To apply for scholarships, visit tjc.edu slash scholarships. COVID-19 has created obstacles for fine arts programs to tackle new ways to showcase performances. The TJC Choir live-streamed their concert titled TJC Choral Kaleidoscope through their Facebook page on October 9th. Due to COVID-19 guidelines, the choir made the switch to perform live through the online format. Though the choir will not share the same space as the audience, they are adapting to this change in atmosphere. Yeah, the adrenaline rush of a live performance, there's nothing quite like that. It can often enhance performance. Um, and so I know that the performers like to look forward to performing and not just uh, making a recording or anything like that. For more information on future choir performances, visit the Tyler Junior College Facebook page. Coming up after the break, TJC plans to celebrate Halloween by hosting another drive-in movie. More details to come when we come back. life. Welcome back to the Drumbeat. Student Life will host a Halloween drive-in movie screening of Hocus Pocus on October 28th at 7 p.m. in the S8 parking lot near Pirtle. The event is open to the community, but make sure you stay in your vehicles during the event. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, you can always find the latest news at thedrumbeat.com, and we'll see you next time. The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College.